Hello, welcome to The One Show with Paul Martin. And Christine Blakely. And with us tonight, we have a bona fide Bond girl. When is the next one, night? If you attempt to flee, I will arrest you, drop you off in jail and take you to the plane in check. Yeah, Gemma Arterton is here. <laughs> Gemma, Gemma, that film, the, uh, the, the uh, Quantum of Solace, that's the last Bond film possibly ever to be made, isn't it? Well, that's what people are saying, but I don't, I don't believe it. I think that it's Bond and it's, you know, it's one of the, one of the only franchises that we have in Britain, mm -hmm. um, in the British film industry. So, so you're, quite, you're quite optimistic that Bond will come back? I think it will come back. I quite like the idea of being in the last Bond film, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I think that it will be, yes. You don't want to get the reputation as the girl that killed off the Bond franchise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> because of her. That ginger girl. <laughs> and you've just come back from Russia, I believe. Yeah, I got off the plane about three, three hours ago or something. Promoting yeah. your latest movie? Yeah. And, and what sort of questions do they ask you in Russia? Do you get asked <laughs> the same questions all around the world? Yeah, surprised? pretty much. Pretty much the same. You, yeah, you get used to it, though. Mm. It's, you know, yeah. it's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> talking about the new movie, Prince. Hello. Uh, you've been to Howlett's, haven't you? Yeah, I actually grew up n not too far from Howlett's, mm -hmm. so we used to go there all the time. I think the last time I went was probably a few years ago, yeah. but it's an amazing place. Well, we have here a, a, a remarkable example. Yeah. Well, uh, Gemma, being a Hollywood star, you probably don't have to worry about parking tickets, do you? I do, actually. Do you? <laughs> I'm terrible. It's usually because I'm late by one minute or yeah, something, exactly. and they're standing there, and I say, oh. Yeah. So it doesn't matter that you are a Bond girl. And no, I get them right. probably even more. Uh, you so there you go. Gemma, um, our viewers will probably know you from Tessa the D'Urbervilles and also the Bond film that we mentioned earlier. Um, I was told by one of the researchers on this show, but they make things up, the scene you did in the Bond film was a love scene, is that yeah. right? Yeah. And people from the outside assume these love scenes are highly charged, erotic <laughs> affairs that happen to be filmed. And that yeah. is the case, isn't it? Yeah, yes, I was <laughs> raging hormones and pheromones and no, no, no. I, uh, I was absolutely shocked because it was the first day I had no, no idea what to expect. I think you look very happy in your own skin there, Gemma. I've got to say. I really yeah, do. Well, you know, you so, do what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, it's the opposite of sexy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, no, it, it's, it, it is just so kind of awkward and mm, uh, mm. I think Daniel's girlfriend was there on set which made it even weirder for me oh, and, cool. you know, it's just, you know. But there's been such an eclectic sort of back catalogue. I mean, you only left drama school three years ago and here we are talking about you as a bond girl, Tessa Durbervilles, and then of course it's in Trinians as well. I mean, it, it's quite a mix. Yeah, there's been lots of different things happening and then I try and mix it up with theatre and TV and film and I like that. It's kind of, that's the pleasure of my job, I think, is doing all, all, all different things. Mm. Each one of those disciplines to it, yeah, people, they're all it? so different. Mm. I mean, even within the film industry, depending on the type of movie that you do. I mean, I just did a massive one and then did a very, very small one very quickly afterwards, and it was it was completely different, mm. whole different experience, and it needed a completely different skill yeah. as well. Mm, okay. Well, we'll be talking about her new movie, <laughs> which is great, actually. Thank you. Jake <laughs> Gyllenhaal's in it as well. That always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Easy on the eye. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't do uh, much for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's no pure. <laughs> I was saying nothing. Uh, tonight, uh, there you go. Howdy jobs and clearing mm. all of that up for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I was like, wonderful. <laughs> Your new movie, as we just mentioned in earlier, Prince of Persia. Um, huge action adventure epic, I think it's fair to say. Mm. And this little clip will show you what mm. I mean. We need to assist the. There must be a reason why you can't take your. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> It's a, it's a film that's for your own stunts, is that right? I do indeed. I'm very proud of it as mm. well. I mean, as much as we can, we do our own. We were allowed to do our own stunts, and my stunt double, Joe, she would always go, "Do you want to give it a go?" And and, uh, and I go, "Yeah, all right then." So, so what, what <laughs> sort of stunt are you, are you? What sort of stunt would you be doing? Well, one that I'm particularly proud of is uh, I trained for a couple of weeks to do it. It's uh, while a horse is running, and there are lots of wild horses mm -hmm. running, galloping towards me, and I have to hoist myself onto it while it's in gallop. And I made sure that I looked over my shoulder like this <laughs> so that everybody knew it was me and not the stunt <laughs> yeah. uh, And there's a couple of others as well. And uh, I don't know, even if people don't know it's me, when I watch it, it's just so thrilling. I'm like, that was me, that was me. And, you know, I get really excited. Oh, no. I'm surprised they let you do it. It sounds quite, well, quite a dangerous to, thing. I had to actually, like, say, please let me do it, because they were really, really, really not 
mm. wanting me to, you mm. know, because you can hurt yourself and fair enough. You know, yeah, but, yeah. Um, it's great. And Jake did a lot of his own stunts as well. Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah, yeah. It must have been tough working. Uh, on oh, yeah, God, why did I get such an ugly boy? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't yeah. seem to have Thank much God. money because he can't afford to buy a shirt. No, 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 no. <laughs> and he couldn't afford a razor either to shave. Oh, that's you a know, shame, poor it? boy. Yeah. yeah. No. Is, it, is, it, is there somewhere we can send money for him? Yeah. Is there an appeal? SaveJakeGyllenhaal.com. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is great, and you are brilliant in it, Jan. It's a great movie, and it's like Friday you. week, 21st yes. of May, I believe, as well. Um, if someone says to you... If you require further particulars on our reusable interactivity solutions, we shall be glad to furnish such additional details as may be required for our telephonic resource initiative. What they're trying to say is, if you've got any questions about our services, just phone us. Exactly. Jargon. Tonight, the one shows wordsmith, Arthur Smith, kicks off his campaign for clearer English by jostling with the jargon of our facilitating regional government leaders. He means local councils. No, I mean <laughs> facilitating regional government leaders. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's just the plain English language is all I'm trying to do. There we go. Thank you, Arthur. Now, Gemma, Paul and I want to play a little game with you. Yes. Jargon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you three phrases yeah. in council double speak, and Paul, you will then tell us what it means. I will indeed. And Gemma, you tell us whether it's true <laughs> or false. Okay. It's as simple as that. Mm. The first phrase is goldfish bowl facilitated conversation. <laughs> and we're suggesting that means sitting in a circle and talking. Is it true or false, Gemma? I'm going to say true. Is Gemma right? That's the, the bell of truth as well. Yes. <laughs> How amazing. Well done. I, I, um, I use that phrase sometimes. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> second, you can use this one as well, possibly. The second phrase is low-hanging fruit. Oh, yes. Um, well, what does that mean, I wonder? It could mean, it could mean achievable goals. <laughs> True or false, Jamie? I think that's false. False? <gasps> it's oh. true! No. And we hear the sound of forces. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic it is. If the acting drops off, you can always do this. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, outlining treetop values. Does outlining treetop values mean approaching difficult problems with the wisdom of an owl? <laughs> I'm going to say false. It has to be false. It is false. Ah, yeah. you're correct. Yeah, it's like owls are notoriously thick. Yeah. Have you ever seen one try and drive a forklift truck? <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. I can't drive a forklift truck. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah. <laughs> can you hang upside down at the barn? Yeah. Oh, well, you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Thank you so much, Gemma. Yes. Oh, it's so lovely to... Think about it. <laughs> That's what comedians always say when nobody laughs. Yeah. Think, about <laughs> think about it. They go home and think about it. As oh, Ken Dodd used to say, this is an educational show. You'll come to this at the end and say, well, that taught me a lesson. <laughs> Prince of Persia, <laughs> Sands of Time, Out in Cinemas on Friday the 21st of May. Good luck, Gemma. Thank Paul, you. you're off now. Yes, I'm off on tour. I'm on tour doing an impro tour. I'm in Bristol, Colston Hall on Tuesday. There you go. Oh, go and see him there. Matt yeah. Allwright's back tomorrow. We're going to be joined by Dame Kiri Takanua. That'll be good. See you tomorrow at 7. Is the bar open? <laughs> yeah.